All right, on the podcast today, excited to have uh, these two guys. I don't know if there'll be a serious conversation throughout. It's Matt LaGrasse, Jack Gurr. Fellas, thanks for doing this. Good to see you. I'm very serious, Connor. So I don't know why you would say something like that. <laughs> thanks for having me again. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, man. Very excited to be here. Yeah. So I, I want to start with Matt's beard. Is this new this year? Um, yeah, you know, it comes in waves. Just we can tell. Pure laziness. Uh, it gets too long, and then mm. I cut it. And then I let it get too long again. Got it. And then I cut it, but there's really no rhyme or reason. Yeah. What about you, Jack? <laughs> this is all I've got here. Honestly, this is the longest it's going to go. Uh, That's this, is, you... this is all I've got. Can you grow? You can grow a beard. No, I don't think I can. No. No. Is it? It's patchy. I haven't even. It just doesn't go past this length, so I don't know if it's <laughs> patchy or not. So, that's all I got. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. So, did you know he he joined the broadcast booth this year? Did you know that? Oh yeah. For. What, why didn't you drive? What were you doing? He was hurt. He was injured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was hurt. The oh. Pittsburgh game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He had yeah I remember because he spoke highly of me. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, he had a great. My favorite quote of the whole day was, "There's a quarter kick. You're up. You're like above the 18." Oh, I already know this uh, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, my mom yeah. texted me about it. <laughs> I thought I'd help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's Matt. Matt. It's Matt's gonna have one. He would just stop picking his nose up there, <laughs> focus or oh, something that like that. Oh, that was it. I thought you were talking about the one where I was I picking him up, it. and then he kicked yeah, it up for a throw it over the <laughs> stands. Oh. Yeah, you're right. That, that happened yeah, too. Yeah, that yeah. Happened too, yeah. The, the left-footed volley. It happened, though. You know, it, it, but that's the thing is, is I did tell him, like, people really enjoyed it because it was a different feel, different vibe. But yeah. um, we were talking about, all right, who, if we ever did this again, who would be one of the guys to do? We, Nick Ross has done it before, and your name came up, man. I mean – if Cam Awasa can do it, I can do it. I know that. So he would appreciate me saying that, I think. Yes, he would. He would. No, I, I wouldn't mind going in there. I yeah. think I could do a decent job. Yeah. yeah. You're just basically talking while the game's going on. Right. That is, that is exactly com- that's that what commentary is. It's, that is yeah. exactly what it is. That's, yeah. That's, okay. well, I mean, you hit it on the head. Yeah, you know, all <laughs> the way the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's the whole thing. All right. It's the whole thing, especially with the way we did it with the, with the players only aspect, which was cool. Um, I wanted to ask you guys about uh, the Hughes match going in there and, and seeing those fans. Uh, in the first half, we were talking about the lines were, were a little tough for you guys, especially for you. you probably, have you ever played on lines like that before? I have uh, in college. Oh, yeah, um, okay. But I don't think since then. I think we've played on a few, like, football fields, but not um, as crazy as the lines were there. Yeah. Not saying that's, that's why we lost, but, like, uh, don't think it helped, yeah. for sure. What about the crowd that night, though? 20,000 showing out uh, was, uh, was pretty special. No, that was... I mean, barring maybe the Open Cup game last year, right. that was the best atmosphere we've, we've had yeah. since I've been here. I mean, even just the fans being there so early, tailgating, yeah, yeah, yeah. in line, you're yeah. walking through lines of fans to get into the game. I mean, you could tell what it meant to the city. You can show, it was just such a good display of what yeah. Sacramento fans are about. And so. typically, you know, fans, when you guys come out for warm-ups, fans are kind of trickling in, but they're not really – like actually in their seats. Yeah. This game, there wasn't really much where else for them to go, right? They kind of had to be in their seats. So then when you guys came out, like a massive ovation um, yeah. the first time, and then you come out again, and obviously it was even louder. No, I mean, it was, it was honestly so incredible. Yeah. And it, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of uh, deals in the working. I don't know if I, but about the stadium and sure. if it were to come and all that stuff. And um, it's exciting for the city. And if you can get, I think it, that was the perfect display of like what the atmosphere is going to yeah. be like if a stadium comes to downtown, yeah. Yeah. and what it's going to be like every week with people showing up early into downtown, and it felt like a Kings playoff game. Yeah, honestly, I went to one of those, and I mean, everybody is in the arena early. There's lines outside. Downtown's popping. I mean, right. Land right. Park was popping. Yeah. So <laughs> it does. It shows like if they had like built a thirty thousand seater like next week, mm-hmm. they'd sell it for the next game. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like absolutely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. What about um, the aspect uh, fra- from you guys being on the road for so long? I know that was got to be crazy. You're basically a, a month-long road trip. And then you come back and you don't even play a place where you're comfortable. Now you go into Saturday where you play in a place that you are comfortable. That's got to feel like nice. Like, all right, we are – not that you weren't back with Hughes, right, because those are fans, those are your fans. But in terms of, like, comfortability, it's got to be nice to actually be back Saturday. Yeah, and, and that's, that is our home. You know, like, we – we pride ourselves on like our performance at home, and um, yeah, that long stretch away was was tough to be honest, like yeah. physically and mentally on on the whole squad. Um, so yeah, it's just it's so good to be back on Saturday, and then hopefully it's a big game for us. Yeah, 
What about, uh, so one of the things I wanted to ask you guys about that I think is funny, and I'll, I'll pull this up in here in a second, is the game day fits. What, uh, what's, the, what's your guys' thoughts on the, on the pictures coming in? Because some guys, they go all out. Connor Donovan wore a full suit one game. Yes. Yeah. But then some guys the take it. Groomsman. Yeah, <laughs> that's never happening for me. Yeah, that, I, I, I used to wear, I had to wear a suit when I played in Nashville. And it was Did you really? so hot. Yeah, it was, oh, like at the beginning, anyway. Yeah. I'm glad they got rid of that, but um, yeah, I'm not going full suit. Not here. For, for me, like my take is like, my mind's on the game. I'm there to play football, and like, I'm just gonna put whatever I see on first, just to like. Yeah. I, and I know some people like to, you know, go out all out and stuff, which is fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, but you know, look but, good, feel good. There's a yeah, case to be made. No, yeah, absolutely. But it's not like I'm trying to get on Vogue's fashion list here. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's apparent. Let's pull up some there pictures are here. Some, well, there's some Vogue fashion candidates on our team. Oh, there are. That is slick. Look at this one. This one looks good. You've got good yeah. style, though. That's just simple. Safe from me. Safe. Yeah. Very safe. safe. Top button. All the, way, all the way button, though. All up. All the way yeah. up. All black. Yeah, all business. All the business. smile is a little bit like, you know, it's like a little half grimace there. I don't know it's what. just like, I know the pictures are coming. I'm just trying to get through it. I'm let, just me, trying to... let me get my boots. Oh up. wow! Let's wait, go back. wait, go let's back to that. Let's one. go back. This is not. This is not great for a, a listening audience. But watch it on YouTube. Look at that one. Oof, jeez. Oof, look at that. That is that is business, Jack. Yeah, look he's ready. Look at that. So he's gonna kill somebody. Look at that. Yeah. See, I, I don't mind. I don't mind that. Assassin. Yeah. And then we got. We got. We. we a, he's given a, a little bit more there. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. This is. I'm already cringing because this is gonna happen to me. I did, you, did you think I wasn't gonna? These have are some safe plays from me. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Yeah. You're, no, I like it. Just okay. Put me on the but pictures. Don't I put me on the pictures. Not I, bothered. I wanted to mention this one. This looks like it's a first day of school. Yeah. That's a. That's. <laughs> Doesn't it? That's <laughs> portrait mode. Yeah. That's that more is. of like. Yeah. You look I like, really don't want the picture. Yeah. But I'm gonna put myself. You look on like you. You should be holding like I'm going into twelfth grade. That that's what that one looks like. Yeah. That one. See. The top button, if you go, if it's not a portrait, the top button's looking all right. You go in on the portrait mode on the top button, then yeah, it looks like my school teacher bought me that T-shirt. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? that is. Yeah, yeah. you this gotta is, get the shoes in there. Yeah, this is a good one too. This is a good one. See, this is a good one. There's good ones and bad ones. We gotta, we're getting worse though. And bad ones. Oh, Look at this. No. Straight off the beach. <laughs> oh, Look at no. it. What thrift shop did you buy that from? Don't. You can't say that. My I know this is your... gonna be fuming. She bought me that. <laughs> Great. Whew. So well, one of them was your grandfather's, right? Yeah, yeah. But that, which to be fair, that could have come out of his closet. But um, <laughs> I think I think it's this next one. That's that's Abercrombie. They're making a comeback. Wow. Okay, but look at that. <laughs> Are they? Yeah, that's Le Grassa, forty percent off. <laughs> Code Le Grassa. Code, yeah. Look at his face. Look at his mouth. Yeah. On that one. You're feeling every yeah. inch of that. And the glasses. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> He's not against this. He's not against that's, that's, This is the grandpa one? That's Floyd. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Floyd gave me. I don't me, mind that. He I, didn't actually give me that. I took it out of his closet. But, but, but hang on. But hang on. Because my, my, my thing is, is based on the last picture, this doesn't look like it's a family. It looks like it's part of this. You're that, just going for this all year long. Style that looks life. like the same as the shirt that I got from Abercrombie. I think yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. There's a fine line between like. It looks like they told you class. to look off camera too. <laughs> look at them. They look like they told them to look off. Yeah. yeah. I think if you asked the guys on the team whose style would you want to replicate, I don't think there'd be one candidate that's like, I'd like to look like Matt LaGrasse on game day. I don't think anyone's... <laughs> oh, God. Luke Rayfield's going to make same, fun of this. That's a portrait, isn't it? They've yeah. done you a kit by that. They've done you like, like me. The beard looks... Not, I think I'd, I do like the beard, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, I like Appreciate it. Appreciate that. I like it. I like it. Hang on, I think there's one more. There we go. That's actually, actually I, I like, like this that fit. one. I like this fit. That's, you like that shirt. You know where I got that? I got that right before Sorry, the Open Cup game no. last year. Ross, 1099. Don't know who makes it. But. Wow. Wow. I just wanted to mention those. If Ross wants to give me a discount code yeah. as well. <laughs> code Lagrasa. Code, code Lagrasa. For oh. 0% off. <laughs> free shipping. Yeah, hey, free, free, shipping. free shipping. There you go. There you go. Oh, uh, my gosh. All right. Uh, you guys got six games left for, before playoffs. Um, I know it's kind of down to the time where everything, everybody's focused and everybody's kind of grinding, but you just came off a of bye week. What did you guys, what'd you guys do for your bye week? Uh, I was up in Tahoe. Seems like quite a few guys went to Tahoe, yeah, didn't Tahoe. they? Yeah, um, Tahoe. It was beautiful up there. I, I get up there like a couple times a year yeah. if I can. You know? 
Um, <laughs> if I can. Well, what, what does that mean? And then the weekend before, actually, we had a couple days and uh, went camping. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Very outdoorsy. Yeah. Is that is that you? You an outdoorsy guy? Once a year. Yeah. <laughs> Twice <laughs> Once a year. <laughs> Once a year we sleep in a tent. Say we're outdoorsy. <laughs> what about you, Jack? I didn't do a lot, honestly. No. Saved some money. That's what I did. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I normally, like, if they had been, they worked it well to do the three and the two. Yeah, yeah. If they give us the five, for sure I'm going somewhere exotic. Oh, so they did it intentionally? <laughs> I think so, yes. Yeah, oh, for sure. So the three days is not, it's just not enough. Not enough. To be fair, though, like, if they'd done the five this late in the season, it's like, probably don't want that much. Yeah, it's but, probably the right thing to do, to be honest. Yeah. But there are some teams that get, like, five, six, what was it? Was it Indy? Yeah. Five, six days off. Well, where are they at in the table? Ooh. <laughs> that's, probably, that. <laughs> that's probably why, to be honest. Well, I just, nah, it's a yeah. mentality thing. I can no, say it. Yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah. What, what about what other guys did? There, you saw where somebody was at, and you're like, gosh dang, I wish I would, I wish I would have done what, what this guy I did. I would have done what Nick Ross did, because that's on my list. I haven't been back to Yosemite Ooh. in a while. I went to Yosemite with his family. Very nice. See? I know Ru yeah. Russ, yeah, I, when I scared Russ this morning, I asked him, uh, if he, had, I think it was this morning. Anyway, uh, when he, I asked if he had ever been to Tahoe, and he said he hadn't. Russ? Yeah, said so today, last weekend was his oh, last, yeah, first yeah, time in Tahoe. Oh, yeah, that was his first time. So, it I is, imagine. Tahoe's like, it's pretty stunning. Yeah. Like, it's, I, I say it lives up to the hype. I agree. I you, think. You've been, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 I've been a couple of times. Really enjoyed it yeah. a lot of the time. It's uh, a good time of year, too. When people come sure. over as well, I think that's one of the places they want to go to, and they're never disappointed when yeah. you go up there. I was going to ask you about that. So your family came over. Yeah. The legend, uh, Terry Gurr, yeah. on Facebook yeah. <laughs> and Big Twitter. Fun. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. The, whatever social media you want, he's, he's on it. He's top commenter, yeah. uh, which is great. Got to meet him, and I'm sure they had it. Who, what, who, how many people from your family came over? He just came by himself. My auntie, she doesn't like flying, to be honest, like oh. long distances. So he just came. Um, but he loved it over here. He really enjoyed it. Yeah. He went to Tahoe and obviously saw a few of the games. And um, nah, for him to come over and like see how we're living like day to day was, was really good for him. Yeah. I'll yeah. say it. I'll say it. Can we, do we have a position for him? Can we, can we create one? Yeah, sure. We get Terry Gurr on the staff. We should. As, as what? <laughs> Who knows? Mascot. Surely. We can get him for something. Yeah, <laughs> I mean he's he's invested like he's up at three o'clock every match day, to three o'clock in the morning to watch us. Um, his coughs are like cramping at half time. He won't sit down in the first half. <laughs> he won't sit nah, down. Nah, he's got like cough cream on his cough. You know, <laughs> and he'll actually. be listening to this. To be fair, he'll be all over this. To be fair, yeah. Well, you should so be. I'm glad you, you give him a shout. Out. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. the man. And then of course, I I mean I spent a lot of time with your parents in Orlando wow. last year. I'm sorry about that. No, I had a great time, and then I see them at every match day. Now. Yeah, no, they're they're great. They are at every game. Yeah, um, they'll be cool. there this weekend. They'll be there Wednesday. They'll probably still be season ticket holders when I'm long gone. Yeah, um, they love the club. They just love soccer. My mom watches other USL games. Really? Like regularly? Does she, does she need to, does she like need to be a, pop speaking over a guest? To the house, I'm not kidding. If I pop over to the house, she'll have Indy Birmingham on. Yeah. I'm like, I don't even watch that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, plus. Wow. But yeah, she's dedicated. She's scouting in case of, you ever, you know, playoffs. You never know at this point. Yeah. And then my my dad, it's a you know, it's a social event for him. He gets out, oh, yeah. sees all his friends. It's great times. <laughs> great times. Yeah. Yeah. He he's a, he's a character for sure. Yeah. Which I'm sure it's really cool for for you to be to have them at at every game, especially you know, obviously you played in Nashville, and I'm sure they came to games, but having them at pretty much every one's got to be pretty special for you. For sure. And it was, I mean, a big piece of why I wanted to come back here. Yeah. Um, you know, you spend so much time, like I'm sure Jack can talk about it too, you spend so much time away from your family and there are moments in your career as a player where you're like, you have to be selfish, you have to take the best opportunity, you have to do what's right for you. But to have, for me, the opportunity to come back and kind of share my career with the people that helped me get to where I am is, uh, you know, yeah. That's nothing cool. better. Uh, you've been playing any golf? I haven't played as much as I'd like, to be honest. We have a big tournament next month oh. at the uh, Granite Bay. Oh. Yeah. Are you, do you play? No. But Matt can play. I mean, he can hit a ball. I've hit, yeah, I've hit golf balls yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. But okay. I don't go out on the course and play like nine or 18 holes yeah. even no, right now. Not even no, not in, I think nine every once in a while in yeah. Nashville, but I don't have clubs. Yeah. But when we're at Top Golf, I'm, oh. not, I'm not useless. Right. You know, yeah. like yeah. I think some guys on my on our team, I won't name names, 
I think I could beat them right now. Right. And they play more than me. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but you, Not but, Jack. What, uh, but there's a lot of guys who do play quite a bit, right? So you guys kind of yeah. take time and go out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, it's a good, good break. We'll yeah. Because when you're out there, you guys are, I'm sure, competitive and you kind of like, you know, you're always so focused on soccer. At this point in time, you can just be focused on something Yeah, else. yeah. And honestly, it's a nice few hours out, to be honest. Just like for a day, you know, you go yeah. somewhere different and... And like you say, focus on something else in soccer, you know what I mean? Is it like a good off day thing or is it like a, what do you, how do you plan it? Yeah, it's a good off day, yeah. It's just like a Monday is a good, a good day to go play <laughs> golf. You laugh at that. Oh, you know, they're always joking about squeezing nine in after trading. Yeah, but we, we <laughs> they yeah. don't. Nine, we, nine, I don't think you nine's do Nine's like an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, but it depends on Luke the day. That. Yeah, Luke. And I'm doing half the session the next day, <laughs> you know? Have you played him, by the way? No, I haven't. He's scared. He hasn't played. He's so yeah, he, and he's got half a leg right now. Yeah, so. he's out injured. He injured himself. Yeah, he's scared to play. That's why. Yeah, that's that why. I'll tell him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's like a, he's like a scratch golfer. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. He's good. I'm looking forward to the day that we might play when I'm like 50. 55. He's, wait, he's, wait, he's waiting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he's waiting for. He's, yeah. He's gonna be waiting for you to have a bad round and no. then he's like, let's go. Well, now he needs training. He's got to get back into form. Yeah. He's taken six months off. He still can't play now. No. Oh. I, no, I don't think so. I think wow. he's putting. He told me he's hitting seven footers or something. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, what was it like when uh, when Roro was able to come back for you guys after being out for so long? I know he's a big part of the team. Last two years, club obviously, you know, a legend for what he did in 2014 and even last year. But what was it like when he was able to come back and, and get on the pitch? It was honestly really good because we, I mean, we've seen him day in day out, like grinding. You know what I mean? Like putting all that work in to, to get back on the pitch. And, and to be honest, when he got injured, I, like we weren't sure if he be back for the season at yeah. all so credit to him like to do everything he's done to get back earlier and like even off the field as well like he's such a leader and obviously like a legend at the club where he just gives us that extra bit of quality which yeah. i think especially in these last few games are gonna you know right. yeah. we're gonna need yeah. that a lot and and uh, his experience and and what he brings to the team and, and just the club is uh is important for us right right yeah i mean he's I think you were maybe as well, but I was injured with him a little bit, like early on when mm -hmm. he was doing the rehab, and you can just see how much it meant to him, and he had it on his calendar, that Hughes Stadium game for yep. a long time, and so for him to get that moment, like he, yeah. he earned every bit of it, for yeah. sure. And he did and, a lot of uh, videos and press around it as well, because I would say, I don't know, 50% of the reason we did the game was because of the, the story of him winning it there and then coming back, you know, that's a for huge, sure. huge moment. Yeah, and I mean... Even like at his age as well, to yeah. be, like doing, you know what I mean, to to put like oh, that much work and and probably not know how you're gonna come back, you know, to be yeah, a hundred percent fit now, fair play. Well. I yeah, know. and it's a mental grind. It really is. I'm sure. Like, I mean, I remember at one point he was telling me like, oh, like people that get this injury have like a high instance of re-injury and not like you could see him kind of mentally turning over and he had to like fight that and he did to be fair and he's yeah. he's back and he looks great. He looks fit. He's running great, yeah. so it's well, awesome to have him back. And a good time for a bye for you know him, Sebastian. I think they're and Nick. Now and now you guys are basically fully fit. Where for I don't know a while there it was like man the inactive report tonight is is tough. Mm. Yeah. Um, but you guys grinded through it and stayed in first place through through that. And maybe a couple of instances where you dropped back down and then quickly recovered. It's pretty incredible to see that. So kudos to you guys. I know there's a long ways to go, but um, that's obviously fantastic. Four games at home out of the last mm. six. I know you guys are fighting for home field advantage down the stretch. It should be should be a lot of fun. I'm fired up. I know the fans are. We're we're seeing. I think following the Hughes game, we're seeing just a lot of people very excited and interested, mm -hmm, yeah. which is awesome. Which is awesome. So, yeah. Um, what about a uh, last question? I think before we go, and I already showed the pictures, which is the one. This is my whole the whole reason I invited you guys here. Oh jeez. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. But um, what about uh, the the aspect of you guys now having six weeks left? Are I know you don't do scoreboard watching and you try not to pay attention, but how do you stay focused in these last six weeks? And then when the playoff starts, right, you have to basically change your mindset. And now, yeah. you, and, you know, as a top seed, you're going to have a target on your back. How do you mentally focus and, ch and challenge your guys' self on week to week? Well, I think, I mean, for us, it's really about taking each game one at a time. Like this weekend, we've got El Paso. We've got a challenge. We know they're going to come in with a game plan. We're going to go in with a game plan. We've got to make sure we execute ours more effectively than them. And we need to just continue to do that week after week. 
take up as many points as we can. And don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about what the rest of the table's doing because, I mean, for us, we'd love to pick up all 18 points if yeah. we can, but it starts with doing one game at a time right. and doing the proper, like going through the proper process. And it's also, I think, I've seen in this league a lot, it's not just about being at the top of the table, it's about being hot going into the playoffs yeah, because right. you want to be in good form, you want to be feeling good, confident as a group going into one match standoffs. Right. So. right. Yeah, I think a lot of what Matt said is probably what I would say. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think the stretch away can um, affect your form and, and the confidence a little bit. So I think if we can use these games to, like I said, these six games to eventually be in a position where we're happy with the way we're playing, then that's going to be more important than anything. But like I say, we can't worry about what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. Just take one game at a time. And I think if we can get one big win at home on Saturday, everybody will be back feeling, yeah. you know, how when we were flying in the league. Because we've right. done this all year. Yep. You know, all we need to do is just focus on this one game and then and I'm sure everyone will feel that way again. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I wanted to ask, sorry, last question. I know I said it last question. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> se second last question. Uh, Roro coming back, does that give you some relief on, on the uh, corner kicks? You can then take your step out and maybe take a, take a crack every once in a while? Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah, if he wants to step up and whip them in, I'll be on the edge of the box ready to smack them. Because <laughs> I, I imagine you, per, you prefer that, right? You're, you're hoping everybody's in the box so you can have that opportunity. Yeah, I mean, the, the way that we – our conversion rate from corners, I'd prefer, yeah, to be on the edge of the box because uh, yeah. when we're whipping them in, we – I think we've only scored one goal this year, so it's an area that we've definitely wanted to improve on, but just having him back as a whole, and, and like you said before, the whole strength of the squad is going to be massive for us. Yeah. You know, like we've got everybody on the bench can come in and impact the game. Right. Which is I mean? totally, and I'm glad you mentioned that, because in the beginning of the season, remember, it was kind of in this moment where... The team know, picks itself, probably. Yeah, you right. Know, we didn't have, a, we didn't have right. a, a deep, you know what I mean? Like yeah. guys who are fighting to come in, we had a lot of injuries. Now it's like we're at a stage where collectively, obviously, we want to win, but individually, you have to play well. Yeah. You know, like you have to play well mm -hmm. to, to play the next week. And, that, and that's kind of the pressure that we, we probably need as well, because as we go on to these games, it's just going to get more, more and more intense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And everybody's confident too, right? Yeah. I mean, Zico, who maybe wasn't getting minutes early in the season, has just really stepped up. Luther yeah. just scored two goals. Um, in international play. I think Zico might have, Zico, I'm not sure if he had one or not, but um, there's just a lot of guys. He had a baby. Congrats, Zico. Did, he did? Yeah. yeah. He had a baby. Don't, not sure he had a goal. He had a baby. Yeah, I don't know if he had a goal, but he had a baby. Congrats, Zico. Wow, <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. Was it, did he post about it? No, I don't I mean, think no. so. Yeah. It's, it's a couple days. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, I think. Okay. So. Oh, wait, is he okay with it? We... Yeah, I, hopefully. <laughs> well, congrats, Zico. If not, if not it was the grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If not, he scored a goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is essentially a goal, you know, in yeah. a way. Yeah, it's a, a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, guys. This was a lot of fun. Appreciate it. We hit, uh, we hit a lot of good stuff and uh, got to show the pictures. I, I, no, listen. I want to say, last thing, I'm only joking about the pictures. I would not want to be in your guys' position. You know I hide from the camera. I know you do. I See, usually try to enter the, the other way. Either. Like, I know it's going to happen, but, like, I'm not, like, Two days before, my favorite. preparing my outfit and that. You know what I mean? There's one from last Ashley, year. Ashley, in our office, was walking us in on the Hughes Stadium game, and she's like, don't stand next to me. I don't want to be in the photos. And I was like, oh. I started walking behind her. Yeah, there you go. I didn't want to be in the photos yeah, either. Yeah, there you go. Because well, then my you're going to make fun of my shirt. My favorite, from my, <laughs> my favorite from last year is when you had you did the, the peace sign, and you just had a big smile on your face. And I don't know why. It just made me laugh. I, I yeah. reposted it because like, this is my favorite, my favorite <laughs> thing of all time. So, yeah, but it's a tough situation. And some people, you know, like... Who, who loves it? Who loves the situation? Uh, probably Carlos Sosa puts Sosa. out some good Carlos, outfits. Yeah. Sosa, Carlos. Luther puts Luther. out some good outfits. Yeah, Luther. Luther Sosa goes. comes in as a cowboy. Yeah, that was unbelievable. Sosa and Carlos. Yeah, too, Carlos yeah. as yeah. well. He's a cowboy as well. So, like, those guys, you know, different story, but I'm with you. I mean, I would be the exact same way if you guys were like, I, I don't know. But, I mean, that's why everyone's different. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody's personality is different. Yeah. You can't, you can't tell if them, they like, want to hey, do hey, that, hey, they want to do that. If he wants to come in on a horse. Fair play. Come on, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever, mate. <laughs> you can't be like, hey, I got to stain on my shirt. Not today. You can't do that? No. Nah. nah, nah. I mean, I was hiding from the I was trying to enter through the back. It didn't work? No, they were turning the camera. They were still yeah. finding me. All right. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, 
Yeah, we don't we don't give them. I don't even give them permission. They just do it. It's really invasive. <laughs> I've hazard to say that I've been on three posts this year, maybe three, and for the whole season in terms of uh, the match day. Yeah, outfits. yeah. Three might be. You know the as one well. time, the one time that I dressed for it, I wore a Kings jersey, and they didn't even put me in there. <laughs> Shocking. Unbelievable. De'Aaron Fox jersey. Who's it behind was? it anyways? <laughs> Who puts it on? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to put that person on blast. Oh. But just be Maybe like, ah, I'm out, I'm out. Cover your face. That's not that hard. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. Do a, I don't know, there's, there's some, you could do some, I don't know, you, I don't know about you guys. All I think about is like all the funny stuff you could do with it. Yeah, that's fair. There's a good opportunity for yeah, something. Like dress up, like dress up like, dress up like Connor one day. What, like a suit? No, just like something that or he like would Con- wear. Like him. Yeah, like making fun of him. It's too much work. You're focused on the game. I get it. I, I, I understand. Yeah, it might be too much. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it is too much. It is too much. And especially if I come in like with a costume or something where I'm, I am taking a pick, then you better play well. You know what I mean? Because yeah, if they're like, yeah. this guy's coming in like this. <laughs> yeah. He plays yeah. like a donkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he plays like a donkey. He'll be safe again next week with a black T-shirt. Yeah, on. yeah. He'll yeah. be yeah. back to the full button up to the yeah. top. Yeah, <laughs> all the way at the top. Five buttons. Oh, man. <laughs> You're adding extra buttons. Yeah, to the okay. like uh, <laughs> oh man alright well thanks guys this was a lot of fun thanks, and uh, good luck good Thank luck you. this weekend appreciate it go Republic go Republic <laughs>